and I could, by scraping just a small piece, I could see that there does appear to be some metal, but really in order to figure out what's going on inside, I think we have to grind away a bit of the exterior to have a look. So let's just go to, basically it's a grinder, I'm gonna use some water as, as the lubricant. And I've just got, some, I've just got a grinding pad on here. So we're just gonna grind a small corner of it and see what we see. Your bits of the metal coming off it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. You can see the beautiful millimeter and submillimeter size spheres. Uh -huh. Spheres of metal. Now, since it's magnetic, it's almost certainly iron. Um, and as I said, I think what I think this is some sort of compressed man-made metal object. Most of the spheres are about the same size as well. There is one group of meteorites that looks similar to this. Or the Ben Carbonites. That must be it. Oh, I, I would run with it if it was. I would, I would be so excited. That'd be fantastic. But, you know, I think with something like this, it would be worth cutting it in half at some point. You know, unfortunately, it would take, it would take a bit of time to actually cut this. I've got the saw, uh, the saws sitting right over there. What I would do <clears throat> is just cut a small piece off the end, polish it, etch it with a little bit of acid, and just have a look at the structure under our microscope. That'll be fine. And that would really sort of give me a better indication of what's happening in 